Trying to perfect my luggage tag stitch. I, I use a luggage tag whenever I do subscapularis repairs. Boom, you pass a loop, you pass a loop, and then after the loop is passed, then you pass the two limbs, and voila, you have a luggage tag. Very simple stitch, it's pretty fast, it's pretty nice. The only problem is if you have two, sorry, if you have three or four of these, now you have anywhere from six to eight limbs you have to manage, and sometimes that becomes a problem because there's so much vo uh, uh, volume from the limbs. So ideally, it would be great to have the same type of stitch but only one limb. So I just saw this knot in a fishing site. You pass the loop, you go like this, and instead of putting both of your, uh, instead of putting both limbs all the way through, you just go halfway, then you pull one of the limbs out, pop it into the loop that was created, and pop it through, pop it through again, and it locks itself right there, and then you slide, and look at this, you still have four limbs going through the tendon. Okay, and it locks itself, so it's not going to come out like the, like, the, uh, like the luggage tag. And then you can trim this piece right here, boom, and now you have one. So if you have three or four of these, you only have one limb that you have to manage through an anchor. It's a little bit more complicated. Maybe it is better for, for uh, a fishing hook but I'm still gonna try it in a shoulder one of these days. Once again, Dr. Moore, just trying to perfect my luggage tags. Thanks.